Fireworks are banned in most cities in Colorado, but you might not have noticed while trying to sleep last night, depending on your neighbors. Denver received more than 500 calls about fireworks last night. The Douglas County Sheriff's Office received nearly 300 and Arapahoe County deputies took more than 100 calls. Some of those calls were for small fires that sparked due to fireworks. One fire in Aurora got so close to homes that some neighbors had to be evacuated. And that's where we find Denver 7's Patrick Perez. Patrick, that fire was too close of a call for neighbors you spoke with. It really was, Jessica, and let me show you why. You can take a look at this burn scar right here and how close it was to the homes on both sides of Spring Creek Park. A homeowner I spoke with told me she had just minutes to grab her belongings before she was evacuated from this area here. Obviously, it was a very scary night for multiple families here, but an even busier one for firefighters. Firefighters across the Denver Metro had a busy 4th of July. There was pretty much just a disregard as far as fireworks laws went and as far as just generally the safety of everybody went. South Metro and Aurora firefighters battled this brush fire in the open space near South Himalaya Way in unincorporated Arapahoe County, even as fireworks lit the sky around them. On one side of the street, we had families evacuating their homes, children crying, grabbing pets, thinking maybe they weren't ever going to see their house again. And on the other side of the street, we have people that are shooting off illegal fireworks into the air. You can see still the smoke. LaVon Scheitler was one of the dozen or so families who had to evacuate. She took this photo as the flames raced toward homes. I grabbed my kids, my cat, and some pictures, and we left as fast as we could. My six-year-old was terrified, so I was just trying to get my kids out of there as fast as I could. Thankfully, the wind eventually pushed the fire away from homes and firefighters were able to put it out. But this brush fire, believed to have been started by fireworks, could have had an entirely different outcome. Had the wind from that thunderstorm been pushing the fire towards those houses, there's a high probability we would have had damage to structures or complete loss to structures. West Metro firefighters were also kept busy battling at least 17 fireworks related fires in grass, cars and even dumpsters. Illegal fireworks causing embers getting, you know, in grass or the bed of a truck. Assistant Chief Steve Cornegay hopes this serves as a lesson learned about the use of illegal fireworks, especially in dry conditions. You look at the Marshall Fire and, and the damage that it did and then South Metro's yesterday and things are ready to burn right now and, and fireworks uh, can certainly cause that. They really can. And in addition to these fires, there was also at least one additional fire in Jefferson County. It was a house fire that was caused by fireworks that were not thrown away correctly. Thankfully, despite all of this, nobody was hurt. Jessica. It was a restless night for many of us. Thank you, Patrick.